This is, they found a living Megalodon in the Mariana Trench. Um, I believe it's like a summation of the movie, The Meg. Um, and a lot of people wanted me to react to the Meg, but a problem with reacting to movies is that there's, well, there's copyright, <laughs> copyright infringement laws, and movies tend to be way more strict than, you know, YouTubers making random videos about their copyright laws. So you can't just like watch a movie on stream and like post you reacting to various clips. I mean, like Shark Bites does something of the sort and even still has issues with it, so. That's why I don't react to movies, but I figured as a middle ground, I will react to what is a summation of the movie. A submarine and its crew face an unknown threat. Jonas, a rescue diver, is on a mission to save them. Though, the clock is counting down as the hole begins to cave in. But is this really he how this- to save a large number of people. However, a few still remain. We learn that this ocean facility is his latest wacky investment. <laughs> the least they could do is spice up this elevator. Oh. Oh. This is so bad. Where's the Meg? How far are we into the movie at this point? That's where the money went. Zhang explains that he believes that there in fact lies an ecosystem below the Marianas Trench. What we think is the bottom might actually be a layer of nearly frozen hydrofluoral carbon blah 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 blah. So he thinks the bottom of the Mariana Trench is actually frozen hydrocarbon. And that there's an entire ecosystem somehow living under that closer to the center of the earth. Okay, sure, I guess. Oh, but what if it really is just the bottom? Then you have wasted $1.3 billion. <laughs> well, fingers crossed. The crew quickly descends and okay. soon approaches Bikini Bottom. Then they prepare for... How did it cost them $1.3 billion just to send a rover down? <laughs> Insertion. We cut to Thailand where Jonas is enjoying a simpler life. So the entire concept of the movie is that there's an ecosystem under Fires. the Mariana Trench. And somehow, somehow the Megalodon is thriving there. Or have we not gotten to the Megalodon yet? There's just something thriving there. I haven't seen the movie. This is insane. This is such a terrible plot. But I mean, okay, I guess if you have to put it somewhere, it could be worse, right? I don't fucking know, man. And also, Lori, your ex-wife, is trapped down there. <laughs> okay, well, now I'm really not coming. Okay, okay. Wait, what? His ex-wife is trapped in the... What? Jonas declines. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you pay me. I'm not doing it. Okay, but check out this message from the crew. See, they said you were right. And also, Lori, your ex-wife, is trapped down there. <laughs> How did your ex-wife get trapped under the mariana trench how do you get trapped under seems they're hacking maybe she yeah, fell has found a temporary solution huzzah we have light suyin zhang's daughter springs into action now that they're leaking oxygen she believes she has no choice but to be the hero she hops in one of the gliders and begins her descent as jonas arrives at the facility she's gonna get Zang eaten right aware of the situation and jonas quickly gets himself <clears throat> situated in a craft of his own looks like suyin's daughter may has snuck inside are you gonna say what? Me, mommy? yeah if you get out of here she obliges and he prepares to descend Oh, I thought she. I thought, I thought the daughter was gonna get in the rover and just get fucking eaten by the megalodon. <laughs> oh man, at least that would have been interesting. Nonetheless, he makes it down to the secret level intact. Meanwhile, the secret the level Suyin has also completed the journey. She even found the crew, but then, whoa! It's a giant squid, and it's trying to eat her. It begins the crust. Where is the megalodon? And what a terrible title, might I add? That's insanely misleading. Okay, I just need to I just need to summarize. So some people got trapped in a submarine. He left them all to die and left. Then he was part of some research project to find an ecosystem under the Mariana Trench, where they then found so far a giant squid. Jonas instructs her to turn off the lights, but the ship the is makes an appearance. Up. Coming in clutch, Jonas shoots out some flares to distract the shark. Wait, why does a ship have flares? Not wanting to be outdone, <laughs> she can do underwater more flares. Jonas tells her to just leave. Then, rest in peace, Toshi. You will be missed. The crew makes it back up, but Suyin gives Jonas okay, so a bunch Toshi's of crap for failing. Toshi's fucking dead, but he rescued his ex-wife. He's also very angry. <laughs> Save Toshi. Afterwards, Suyin barges into Jonas's room just as he stepped out of the shower. Okay. He makes sure to stand perfectly under the overhead lighting to better accentuate his physique. <laughs> Just look at the biceptoids on this man. Suyin apologizes and leaves the room feeling tingly. Later, a meeting is held with what? Jack. Zeng explains how imperative it is that they proceed slowly with Is that discovery. really necessary to the plot of the Meg? <laughs> Jonas barges in and tells Jack he's a big dummy head, and that man versus Meg, short for Megalodon, is not a fight, it's a slaughter. 
Meanwhile, <laughs> May runs around the facility before a hacking megalodon swims up and stares at her. Hello? What? <laughs> the CGI. Aw, look, it's a baby whale. <laughs> we discuss what just happened, and Jax unveils a troubling finding. It seems that as Jonas was coming up, he knocked over- So the Meg has come up from the under Mariana Trench in ecosystem to attack their fucking rover. Okay, interesting. ...open a thermal vent that temporarily warmed the frozen barrier enough to allow passage. A superhighway for sharks, if you will. Then, an alert comes through about some nearby ships that just went belly up. Wait, so a hydrothermal vent from below the Mariana Trench melted the ice barrier, allowing for a shark to swim through, which has never happened before, and it is now attacking their research facility. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, she's gonna hop in the shark tank, which Jax assures is totally indestructible, and then she's gonna- Indestructible? Bro, you just discovered an entirely new ecosystem. You're talking about a shark- literally fucking massive and you're like yeah this this little tank will do it like i understand being confident in your shark tank when you're talking about like diving with hammerheads or whatever you're like something you know i cannot imagine being confident in a tank when you're talking about diving with a fucking megalodon soon proceeds into the tank as chum is thrown into the water soon after tons of small beta sharks surround the cage beta sharks after sensing the presence of the approaching alpha shark <laughs> he gets up close and personal with suyin but she struggles to execute her attack unfortunately the shark has no trouble executing its own rip suyin suyin and the boat fall victim to the shark's ferocious power as it takes both of them on a little ride sigma the struggle, shark she manages to administer the poison spear into the shark's mouth the meg attempts to swallow the cage and jonas springs into action Delighted at another opportunity to take his shirt off. <laughs> Jonas dives into the water as the Meg thrashes the cage around while attempting to swallow it. Back on the boat, Jeff hatches a plan. He commands the crew to ready the second crane while dropping a huge bag of chum into the water. The Meg quickly takes notice and heads in for a bite. In the process, it entangles itself in a loop. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Really? After all that, they're just gonna fucking lasso it? Do you know how strong that thing would be? That's like bigger than any like actual existing or existed Meg. But like... The amount of fucking power that that thing would have. You can't just put a lasso around it. It would flip the boat without an, a single effort. That would be like flipping like a toy boat in your bathtub. There is nothing you could do that would hold that thing with a fucking lasso. Shortly after, the giant creature somehow succumbs to the tiny dose of poison it was given. With the Meg now dead, Jonas heads back to the boat with an- What? When was it poisoned? And it just fucking died? Is that really the, the, after all of that? After all Conscious Suyin. After a little mouth to mouth, she's good as new. The pair chat inside, and Suyin states that she really enjoyed the part where he kissed her. <laughs> Can I be yeah, done with this? They head to the deck and see that the Meg has been reeled in. Jeff poses for a picture while DJ trolls him. <laughs> now in the water, Jeff strikes a little pose before. Another one. And... It's bigger this time. Okay, the boat great. Is absolutely so wrecked. there's another megalodon, and it, so they poisoned, they fought and poisoned the meg, which then was eaten by another larger meg, which somehow also escaped from under the Mariana. This is literally just like if I let my fucking Discord general chat, like all of the 13 year olds in my Discord general chat, I said, make me a movie about the megalodon. They might come up with something better than this. Heller and Jax are still in the water, but he sacrifices himself. Yeah, if the last one was the Alpha Meg, what is this one? This is the Sigma Meg. Wouldn't it be crazy if it attacked the helicopter? What? <laughs> what? Wouldn't it be crazy if it attacked the helicopter? <laughs> How? Also, what's wrong with its tail? But also... Wait, wrong movie. Anyway, this proves to be an That's a different movie? Oh my Take god. Distraction, and everyone makes it back safely to the headquarters. Except Zhang. He died. With a broken heart. Oh. Hit it again. Are you sure? Again. Hey. This time, chunks are sent flying up. <laughs> you know, I think that's actually good for your skin. Nope. Jack and his boys excitedly inspect their catch via boat. Hey, get me a tooth as a souvenir. The man dives under, but returns empty-handed. Please don't tell me there's gonna be a third, even larger Meg. This thing ain't got teeth. Oh crap, it's a whale. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> they just bombed a poor fucking whale. They just bombed a random ass whale. The boat speeds off and Jack tumbles into the water. Oh no. Oh, 
Okay. Anyway, the next morning, Jonas and the gang received the news and realized Jack was never sending an evacuation team. Instead, he was just trying to sweep the disaster under the rug. Unfortunately, the Meg is still at large. Next up, it's heading towards a super populated beach. Because of course it is. Because of Max course it is. Max shows that he just tried alerting the authorities, but they thought it was a prank call. Go figure. Well, I guess it's up to us. Jonas proudly remarks. <laughs> the crew sets sail, then we cut to a boat near the beach. Seems to be a couple celebrating their wedding with their dog Pippin. Oh no, Pippin, don't go in the water. Pippin. Suddenly, the shark speaks <laughs> towards the dog. Hmm, I've never tried dog before. And no shit, he's never tried dog before. He lived under the Mariana Trench. He's never tried anything except fucking like sponges and some crabs. Rip Pippin, by the way. <laughs> you know, of all of the deaths that in movies and TV shows, all of the character deaths to further the plot, I think this one was a little unnecessary. I don't think Pippin needed to get eaten for the story to progress here. Anyway, the shark heads. Yeah, that that the energy that the megalodon probably would have had to put in just to chase down the dog was probably not even worth what it got from eating it. Mm, I think I'll start here. <laughs> the beachgoers collapse into chaos as they scramble towards land. Meanwhile, the shark is like munch, 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 munch. And then there's this guy who's safe inside his protective bubble. Now Not dessert, so much. The Meg heads towards a group of stranded kids. The Meg pulls up and Sugi launches a torpedo at the very disappointed shark. Pretty effective. Jonas is next, and as he's about to get They're his shot in, in submarines right off the shore. It's right off the shore at a beach, yet the water is perfectly clear. Also, they're somehow in submarines and they have rocket launchers. God, I love this movie. Jams. He uses the damage end of his ship to slice the shark's belly open. It retaliates with a crushing bite, and Jonas is forced to escape. Though, he takes with him a harpoon, which he puts to good use inside the shark's eye. As the Meg rages with pain, Jesus he fucking the Christ. Of the water, Jonas administers the final blow. At last, he has bested the mighty foe. Everybody takes refuge on the wedding boat, and turns out, Pimpin' the dog is alive! Pimpin! Bless up to the pupper, and rest in peace to the Meg. Check the description for a link to the full movie. Pimpin! You know what? Dog shit movie, but at least Pimpin's alive. Whoa.